Yeah. And it's he, weird, he though. It's sad. It's weird. It's really a, a, an end of an era when you think about Kobe not yeah. being in the league next season and if Tom, Tim Duncan decides to step down and the farewell tours would be so vastly Opposite different on that spectrum. Kobe and Tim yeah. if that goes down this way. Kobe leaves with that 60-point game. I know it's a regular season game, but walks out a winner, and then you see – I'm glad he scored 19 points considering what he did in the first five games of the series, but then that block, and then they go the other way in the Thunder. Well, just, just what the weird. whole season's been like yeah. where Kobe was celebrated every single – place he played yeah, on a bad I, team and, and and you know Tim is obviously far more under the radar and just yes. how he handles everything and his team wins 67 games mm -hmm. in the regular season right um, no doubt we could talk about Tim deserving a standing absolutely goal, but the two guys that and the team that knocked him out they they deserve it too yeah two guys one because I was told that I'm like it was blocking funny, a shot I'm not usually out here so I'm gonna hilarious. do the rest of the show like this is that cool no I like it so I can do this <laughs> So I can push I, I wish we could have had a picture of that, right? That would have been great. Would have used, given her a mean look for that? No, no, he, he actually no, wasn't. No mean look. Listen, while we're talking Players' Championship, I want to go back to that Island Green for just a second because plenty of golf balls have ended up in the drink, and so did my co-anchor, Matt Berry. He is certified in scuba, what? and I'm sure that was for trips to the tropics, but I'm told visibility around 17 was not quite as clear. He did this interview in full scuba gear underwater his entire really? interview underwater it's going to air sunday morning in the 10 a.m eastern edition of sports center wait how about the scuba picture i think if they pull that up and by the way no matt berries or gators were harmed in the making of this story there were no gators in there no gators oh, well he bad. doesn't know for sure but he was i think he was a little scared <laughs> when he, he found was. out Eastern. he's like what's the situation with gators and they didn't think there were any didn't think <laughs> yeah go check that out first yeah bring some golf balls back yes right? please uh, staying with the golf theme, it was 11 years ago today where we saw one of golf's greatest streaks end. Tiger Woods had gone seven years in 142 tournaments without missing a cut before running into trouble at the Byron Nelson Classic. We go back in the day to see what happened to Tiger that day and the drama of his life. He took over in the fourth quarter. We have seen that before. Scored 14 of his 29 on 4-6 shooting. Game four had that NBA record 17 in overtime. What makes him so clutch when the game is on the line? Sarah, if you watch the end of that game, there's one play. To face the winner of Spurs and Thunder, which has turned into quite a dramatic series on that side. Golden State 3-0 against OKC, 3-1 against the Spurs this season. Which team is a better matchup for the Warriors? I would say it's the Thunder. Now, I also want to see the... Curry's averaging 35 points per game against OKC this season. Meanwhile, in the East, the Raptors beat the Heat 99-91 in Game 5 to take that 3-2 series lead. And we saw DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry get it going last night, combining for 59 points. Why were they able to be so... Two deficit against the Hornets to win that series in seven games. George is going to be back soon to look ahead to Spurs Thunder game six. We were talking about this before the show yeah. started. It's been a far more interesting than many folks 